everyone. Welcome to our channel. It's Linda and Russell with Safe Bay Homestead. Hello. Hope you're all having a great weekend. We've been to church this morning. Yes. Had a good day so far. A great day so yes. far. Church mm -hmm. for us starts, uh, we leave here early in the morning around 820. 820. <laughs> uh, Lord has us uh, ministering in the church. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away. So we have a little drive going there. Uh, but it was a great day today. We had uh, eight people get baptized today. They got yeah. saved in the last couple of weeks. And so anytime somebody gets saved and then they get baptized, it's a great day. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. So and then we came home and uh, once we got home, <laughs> we had to work on the pig's pen. They have devoured the grass and I still have not had time to put up the uh, electrical fence back there to give them a whole lot more room. So we rerouted the fence a little bit today, and uh, man, they were so... They were so happy to get fresh grass. <laughs> they were very uh, excited. I guess I should say fresh clover, because it's not, there's not much grass in our yard. This time of year. Yeah. Uh, but it has, it's been, a, it's been a good week, but today is now that we finally got to sit down together. Uh, hadn't got to talk a whole lot this week, but it is, uh, it's good to wind down. And uh, normally I will get me a Sunday nap, but that hadn't been the case today. Because uh, we've only been home, what, but an hour maybe? Probably. An hour, and it's already, it's three o'clock. The sun will be sitting here in about an hour and a half. Oh, and it's time change. Yeah. I do not like it. So we wanted to talk to you just real quick about taking time to just relax sometimes. Uh, this week, as I said earlier, my youngest brother, uh, he had a heart attack. He's, he's younger than I am. Uh, he's not as near as big as I am as far as weight-wise, he's taller than I am, uh, but he had a triple bypass uh, surgery a couple of days ago. I don't remember what day it was. Uh, he did well. He's coming home actually today. Uh, he's probably on the road right now driving home or mm -hmm. on his way home. Hopefully he's not driving. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's put stress and toll on the family worrying about him. Uh, and then Linda's got an aunt that's not doing real well. And so... She's actually older than Linda's mom, the oldest one. Uh, but she, she's, she's hanging in there. She's a strong fighter. Again, that, but that, that'll take away from you too. But uh, things at the homestead still have to be taken care of. And so we've been trying to, to plan things out and make sure, of course, the animals get taken care of uh, at the same time, but family needs get taken care of as well. And then one of those family needs is just the time to sit back and talk to each other and uh, discuss. We have many plans coming up. Uh, we are, I'm waiting on a guy to come help me uh, a couple of videos ago. We talked about the greenhouse that we're gonna uh, convert this storage building across from us out here. Yeah, we're excited to get started with that. We are. So we have several plants that we've done a video on that we showed you out in the garage that we have started from seed and um, it's getting a little crowded out there we're anxious to get some more started that's right and also the temperature out there uh mm -hmm. is dipping down uh into trying to get below 60 in there i've got a little heater that i keep on uh, to keep it above 60. Uh, at the same time the last three or four nights here have, have been uh, frost uh, it's been below freezing a couple of times uh, I know a lot of you deal with a lot colder temperatures than what we deal with, but still 30 degrees is 30 degrees. It's cold, right? Well, we don't normally <laughs> see it till till more June, I mean, uh, January and yeah. February. Yeah. Uh, so November's not normally, I mean, it gets cold sometimes. There's, it's usually pretty warm in November. Thanksgiving, and, and, we're usually in shorts and t-shirts. And we've had a couple of snows in early December, but those are few and far between. Uh, but now since we moved out to the... Uh, east side of the state uh, I think the, the temperatures are a little cooler up yeah. here um, and it's such a big swing in temperature it's like 30 or 32 at night and then it could go up to 70 degrees, 70 degrees. during the day yeah so. which is does your plants nice, crazy well it is nice for us but not for the plants and yeah stuff. no why no so, mm -hmm. it's cold and the wind has been blowing like crazy recently yeah uh, I mean not a big wind gust which will make it seem even colder. Mm -hmm. But what else has been going on, hon? <laughs> I guess that's about it. Well, no, we, we, I mean, we, of course we planted the, the trees and the berries. We got those in the ground. Uh, I, 
I think that's going to be good. I, she's wanting to get some grapes in the next couple of weeks. Yes. I don't know where we're going to plant those at yet. Uh, we'll find a spot. Any place to take away from having to cut so much grass, <laughs> uh, I'm excited uh, to put in the ground, especially if they'll feed me. Uh, right. We're still looking at some more animals in the, in the spring. Uh, don't know if we want to get in to quail again. I got a friend of mine that wants me to mm -hmm. do pickled quail eggs. So I'm like, but he said he loves them, so I don't know. Definitely uh, more chickens. Yes, more chickens, uh, meat chickens in the spring, mm -hmm. and also. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to take one of these storage buildings. After all, we've got 11 of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to convert this one on this other end, opposite of where we're going to do the greenhouse. And I think we could easily, it's got a concrete slab in it. I think we could easily house a bunch of birds, make a coop out of that, and take that uh, 10 by 10 uh, by 6 foot uh, pen that we have that the pigs are in right now and put a top over it and be a great place for some more chickens to be able to to roam around yeah. so yeah. we could do that at any time mm -hmm. it'll probably be spring but i don't want to deal with yeah, it yeah i don't want to start baby chicks <laughs> when it's really freezing i don't think um, so. what else honey um the other thing is russell has um we call it a pinched nerve right it's no compressed it, oh sorry compressed nerve um the part of the spine where the nerve goes through is pinching on it and those nerves that are coming out sends out severe pain and causes his leg to go numb and his foot to go numb um, all the way down the side of his leg and uh, so he's tried physical therapy tried medicine and injections injections which that spinal block did nothing it actually made it, it worse made it worse so the surgeon said the next step is surgery so we're looking at that um, probably sometime in December. We would like to get it done before the first of the year because we've met our deductible <laughs> on our insurance. Um, so yeah, it's actually, that's, uh, that's our next big thing we're looking at right now. L5 and S1 on one side, it's got a bone spur, but it's off to the side where the nerve goes through a uh, little canal there area and it's compressing on it. The other side's herniated and compressing on the other side. So. Yeah. They're wanting to, said the only thing he could do is to fuse those areas. So still praying about it, but uh, if we're gonna do it, we need to do it this year. So that's gonna be interesting uh, to do that and what kind of recovery time it's gonna take for that. Uh, but you do what you can do and uh, what you can't do. You look to your wife and say, can you do <laughs> That's why we got a tractor. <laughs> we'll get it out if we'll we need to. It needs to be done. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we just wanted to touch base with you the first of this week. It's been a uh, a great, last week was a good week. It was a great week, actually. Even though with all the negative things going on, uh, it was still a good week. And we are looking forward to the holiday seasons. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving in case we don't post anything Thanksgiving Day. I uh, hope you get to spend time with your family or people that you're close to and uh, have a great uh, time of being thankful. And uh, man, there's so much to be thankful for. If you got up this morning and had breath in your lungs, mm -hmm. uh, that's a thing to be thankful for. And uh, if you, uh, especially if you got food on your table and uh, covering over your head and clothes to wear, uh, that's even more reason to be thankful. God will take care of you. I'm a man of faith. And uh, that's what we stand on and believe in. Uh, don't try to force our views on anybody but i can tell you from experience it has worked for us and uh it's a, it's a great life that we have lived and are living and uh, we, we we stay focused uh, on the things to us that matter and mm -hmm. i encourage you to find something to be thankful for as you go into this holiday season if you can't uh shoot me a text or something we'll we'll talk and uh, see see email, if we can probably. email if yeah, text. Text, yeah <laughs> well, email however yeah. Uh, send me a message on uh, YouTube and we'll we'll get together and talk because there is something to be joyful for. I don't want anybody uh, to not have joy in their life. Uh, so anything. I don't have anything else to say. Nope. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining. We're going to show Don't show leave. In. We're going to show <laughs> Don't, yeah, leave. don't leave yet. We will show you some 
pictures of the where we moved the fence for the pigs and just show you the chickens. Show you for the a indoor bit. stuff that's growing maybe. Yeah. You got cabbage this nice size heads. I don't yeah. know when you're supposed to pick them out. Yeah, they're getting, fu- they're getting firm. They're still a little um, soft, so you gotta wait just a little bit. We'll show you that and the chickens. If you see me looking off to the this side yeah, we like here. to watch the chickens. They're, they're chasing they're each other. It's pretty yeah. funny to watch them. Uh, uh, we sold them some new chickens in the rooster. <laughs> but that's coming. But anyway, you have a blessed day. And Linda's going to, sh- well, we both will walk through. I guess, yeah, Linda will show you what's going on. <laughs> My back's burning. <laughs> we'll see you. Stay, stay tuned. Hey, guys. Wait. Don't hold her for a minute. She's so soft. Mm, she is. It's okay, baby. Ow! Did you see her? No! Bad girl. No, no. She stuck her home. Around my finger. indoor there's our plant starts indoor plant start area there's the clover I've got growing for the chickens some of our succulents our pepper um, some Brussels sprouts back there and I've got some more clover up there started that's all guys Linda Russell Leo with Seed Faith Homestead thanks for joining us today Uh, we appreciate you guys if you haven't what should they do, Leah? Please sc- subscribe. Subscribe, that's right. And press that thumbs up button and leave us a comment. Love you guys. Bye. God bless. Bye. <laughs>